And I wonder what madness he's playing today. Full fat. Interesting. Okay, we should be favored. Um. So, alright, we can do that if we really want. If he opens with, like, Dream Shaper or something. That's actually not bad. If we really want to deny him. Whew. Damn. Okay, so we're not actually going to use this. Uh, there's no point using it in this dragon seal here. I don't think. And there's no way to do it without taking both. So, okay, we'll just play this in the middle, I guess. No point blocking one mana tile, he'll just go to the other. And then the Primus Fist won't be able to engage with whatever he plays on the mana tile if we do it that way. So this is just actually better. And okay, he takes two from clearing the boar as well. Mostly irrelevant, but could be helpful. If he goes Portal Guardian... That'll be a little tricky. Maybe. Okay, we have Jammer MDS to follow up. Ooh, okay. <sighs> That's somewhat annoying, actually. Uh, Fox MDS Primus leaves it at one. Okay, let's just clear this and get something that is good. Okay, that does it, right? And we actually are going to use that right away. And we can also hit face if we do it this way. And this is absolutely huge. Yeah, this is a huge board. He doesn't have five, so we're pretty safe. And we have a jammer up to replenish the hand. This is a fantastic start for us. We just have to not blow it now. We'll get blown out by something I forget about. Okay. So he's on 21. Double MDS is like somewhat tempting to actually go for. I think we'll shuffle one back though. We want better cards. Okay, packs get straight up ignored. We're just going face, right? We have eight, three in hand. That's eleven. That'll put him on ten. And okay, he's on eight with a bunch of primuses around him. Uh, how do we deal with Blood of Air? Okay, we'll... We'll put the Jammer not in the corner, so when he Blood of Air's the Jammer... It 
it will he'll not uh, be able to walk into the corner. And okay, this is huge. He's on eight. So we're threatening lethal. If this pack hits the jammer, uh, we're somewhat happy. All right, that's good. And this is rough for him. Jux's fantastic follow-up. And okay, we've seen a fire blaze. Uh, shit, what did he open with? He opened with a celebrant, so he's on golems plus fire blaze. So Night Watcher, maybe not the best. If he's not running full up, oh, he's got June casters. Okay. Maybe he is running a second obelisk. He stops blood of air as well. What a lot of two drops. And okay. So this is just, he's probably dead on board, but we can just jox. There. Trade. Trade. Lethal. All right. Quick game. Lightning fast. Lightning fast gameplay. Okay. Let's hit the board. Mm. Baker's actually a lot worse than Jammer in this matchup, I think. Because if it eats a bounce or it eats a blood of a, we've got no value. Okay, these are good because he's running packs. What do we actually have in our board? Zendo too slow, EMP too slow, painted, not that great. Uh, yeah, we don't want the third baker. Night Watcher. I feel like he's not. I feel like we want to kill the Fireblaze anyway, so just Night Watchering isn't even that good. And it is a slow 4 drop that does nothing when it comes down. Okay. Um, the Blades. No, we don't want the extra Blades. Okay, we'll just go in with exactly the same deck. Just going with the ladder deck. And okay, we have the same opener. I don't think we ever need two Tusk Balls. I'd rather get a three drop to just guarantee I can, you know, play something good here. I think we're just going to do the exact same thing. Um... Do we want MDS or Jux? I think Jux is just more flexible because it's cheaper. So we could, <laughs> we could bore scroll band at Jux, but I think again we just want to hold on to the Jux. And okay, the other option is to actually no, we can't do it that way. Okay, yeah, exact same play. We can deny him punching it off and taking the mana. Which could be worth it. But no, we want to leave a mana tile up for us. Yeah, the other play there was to take the mana with the Primus and have the ball here. So then if he wants to walk there to take the mana, he has to uh like he has to give up finishing off the Tusk Ball. That said, him taking the extra two is 
probably just just as fine. And this gives us option to have the, the mana tile for ourselves. And okay. First wish as well. Alright, a bit annoying. Okay, do we want Jammer or uh, Panda Pan? Or, yeah, Scroll Bandit Battle Panda. Um, I like just playing the ban the uh, Battle Panda and the Scroll Panda. I think. And okay, we can just back off with our things. I don't think he has a way to punish us here. This positioning's got to make him think about Jocks at least, but he's a smart player, he was already thinking about it. Yeah, okay. Um, yeah, he's still off of 5. We have Jux Jammer Blip on Spell next turn to develop and probably clear most of this. Nothing can really do to punish us. Looking strong again here. And again, he's getting low already. I have to wonder what he boarded in. You gotta imagine he's running heralds. First wish is fine. Slightly annoying because you can hit face and it doesn't die for free now. He's actually going to try and aggro us. He's trying to race. A lot of dream shapers. Ray. Okay. He knows my weakness. I have no idea if this will actually uh proc. Whenever this takes damage, deal one to all enemies. Whenever this dies, so it should attack, and then that will proc the proc again. So let's just assume that's true. And okay. Um, <sighs> Blood of Air is nice. Oh shit. What a misplay. The hell? Okay, it hit the bandit. Alright. Okay, yep, yeah, so in all that thinking of clever plays, forget the fact that uh, the ray will just die to the battle pando's effect. But alright. Shit happens. Now he's got a bunch of golems on the board. Uh, they're going to be able to clean up the jammer. Hmm, yeah, okay, it's not looking great, but we got a Blood of Air. Which is actually quite relevant. And okay, these are going to go face, and then he's going to bounce our jammer. Yeah, 
yeah, we got way too clever there. The plan was to double pro to uh, proc the battle tender twice and clear up all the things. So yeah, once again, Ray causing us to misplay humongously. But okay. We're not out of it. Far from out of it. Okay, if we double Fox now, he'll have to give us Phoenix Fires. Hmm. Okay. So we can clean that up. And that will make the foxes reasonably difficult to answer. So let's go for that. And then okay. Uh, do we want to play around Bender? I don't think he'll be running. That doesn't have any like area stuff. So let's go for this. Okay, he can blood of one. And we have a solid follow up. He takes a slow play, we eat blood of air. Oh! Spicy! Okay. Okay. Um. How much do we have? Two, four. Six. Is that just lethal? I think that's just lethal. Six. Oh, yeah, no, we have way over lethal, okay. We have a ton of Phoenix Fires here, let's just use them. Wow! <laughs> wow! Oh my god! I like the grapple inclusion, though. Definitely a strong card, and... You're gonna catch people off guard every single time with Xerox Grapnel. Okay, GG Henry Cater. That was a fun one.